professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. If you're trying to conceive a child, then look no further than Vedic astrology. Hi, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, certified astrologer, and in this segment I'm going to be going over uh, how you can effectively use Vedic astrology to try to find the optimal times to conceive and um, for pregnancy. Now let, let's go ahead and get started. Um, you, you may be thinking that there's no um, way that um, astrology can predict this. Um, this is a scientific endeavor. However, there's um, uh, planetary energies which collide and come together to understand this much better. Um, so the big thing that you look at is the fifth house. Um, what is there is um, more of the um, pregnancy. Not, not only that, um, with the fifth house you actually have um, it represents children and um, its related causative elements. So um, if there's a positive combination um, within this house, within the fifth house, then um, things are looking positive. Um, however, um, if the fifth house lord needs to be placed positively in the chart of the native to actually enjoy pregnancy and related aspects. So um, these individuals um, are less likely to have things like um, uh, postpartum depression and things like that. Now, none of this um, advice uh, replaces the um, uh, medical advice of individuals, um, of, of your physician. Um, this is meant to um, complement what we know in medical science um, and, uh, to, with astrology. Um, so that's uh, one um, one big thing that you look at to understand the birth of a child and um, how and times to conceive. Um, the other thing that uh, you look at, other than the fifth house, is actually looking at the second house, and so sec this is because second house is the house for family, um, and so you can kind of, uh, this needs to be looked at to predict the birth of the child. Um, and then the other house that you look at is the 11th house. Um, and that's the house of gains and fulfillment of desires through children. Um, it's wise to look at the ninth house as well because um, it works as a facilitator. So I've uh, talked about multiple houses, the fifth house, second house uh, and the eleventh house and the ninth house um, in order to look for um, conception of a child and um, childbirth. Um, now to the planets, um, the the planet Jupiter, so after the houses, um, the what you look at is rulership. So for instance, um, if we're looking at uh, the house um, for instance, if, if we're looking at the fifth house, um, then whatever uh, sign there is, for instance, if it's Sagittarius, then the rulership of Sagittarius is Jupiter. So then you look at if your Jupiter is afflicted or um, the uh, Jupiter is in a, a positive position. Um, so, for instance, uh, the planet Jupiter um, is considered the main factor when trying to have children. Um, Jupiter in astrology is concerned, um, and astrology is the giving planet, and so it blesses um, on the native and necessary childbirth. Um, Guru is um, Brihaspati. Um, um, he is known as the lead um, uh, priest of, of the devas, the, um, the he heavenly angels. and. Um, as an equivalent. So um, he's a giver um, of, of gifts and wounds. Um, and then alongside 
um, Jupiter, uh, the position of the Lord of the ninth house, um, is also important. Um, and the ninth house itself is analyzed through the ascendant horoscope to check the possibility of childbirth for the couple. So if in your chart these houses um, or Jupiter are affected by malefic com combinations, then chances of delay in childbirth and pregnancy may arise. So it's all about looking at the rulership of the um, signs that are occupying the respective houses. Um, I know that's a a lot of concepts combined together. Um, you look at the fifth house, you look at the rulership of the fifth house. You look at the second house, you look at the rulership of the second house and see if they're afflicted. Uh, you, you look at the eleventh house and, uh, and then do the same thing. Uh, so on and so forth. Um, so apart from these uh, planets, um, sixth, eighth, and twelfth is also uh, prominent. Um, So um, 6th, 8th, and 12th, uh, in such a situation, if uh, Jupiter is debilitated or weak, then it becomes almost impossible for the couple to have a child for themselves. Um, because the 5th house also represents accumulated karma, in such a situation, happy or painful information related to children can be obtained by looking at this house. Um, so the 5th house, again, is very important for children. Um, it's also important to look at the 6th, 8th, eighth, eighth, and 12th houses. However, the primary uh, ones to look at still um, is, is the 9th house, 11th house, and 2nd house, along with the 5th. So for instance, Saturn in any of these places um, is affecting um, the, uh, the houses or planets then you may have to wait for the birth of your child. In fact, at times, the evil effects of Saturn can block the blessings of childhood, childbirth for the native. Um, even Malefic, Rahu, Ketu, and Mars are the creators of hurdles when it comes to childbirth. Um, Rahu and Ketu indicate negative deeds related to children. Rahu indicates snake defect and loss of fertility. Um, and so there's a lot of different things. Um, astrological remedies, um, well, um, some of the things that you do is um, look for the house, fifth house lord, um, and that's known as uh, Banchemish. Um, uh, Banch means five, and then the lord is uh, Mish. Um, and then if this is afflicted, um, then worshiping the lord, um, can help you get rid of this. Um, so for instance, um, if that is uh, Jupiter, then you um, fast on Thursdays um, and um, try to um, uh, try, try to improve the energies um, that are coming out of uh, Jupiter, uh, if that's the Lord. Um, so, uh, uh, Worshipping Jupiter is, is one way. Um, uh, Navagraha Puja, which is um, all nine planets, and um, um, having some mantras to them as well is important. Um, and then you can go into any of the other malefics that are in your chart. For instance, if it's Rahu, you can um, uh, repeat a mantra. If it's uh, Ketu, you can repeat a mantra. Um, and then uh, this shows how a couple um, they, they can, uh, to increase the chance of conceiving, um, they can worship Lord Krishna, um, who removes any impending problem with childbirth. Um, they can also choose um, to perform uh, something, a Krishna, uh, puja to Krishna, a ritual, um, and then chant uh, the Gopal mantra, um, uh, Bij mantra. And uh, I'm not gonna uh, uh, pronounce this, but you can you can take a look for yourself. Um, so there's there's a lot of different uh, mantras um, and remedies that you can do. There's um, actually a, a vastu shastra, which means um, how to place the items within a house. Um, uh, 
Um, so th there, there's a lot of different things that you can do and gemstones like rose quartz, uh, aventurine, um, and all of this. So I hope this has uh, provided you with uh, some insight about um, what these uh, different types of um, techniques there are in order to uh, potentially conceive a child or um, uh, safety during a childbirth. Um, this is again does not replace medical advice. Um, this is pertaining to a uh, metaphysical topic in order to uh, understand and um, b better try to um, um, complement um, medicine uh, for this. Um, uh, this has given you some insight. Thank you for listening.